volt works micro sd card works offline charging works the build is permissive out of the box feel free to write the se policy in case you want to next thing the build is pre-rooted out of the box make sure you do have an active internet connection when you open the magisk app for the first time it will download the app when you open it it will reboot enable magisk hide and once you have enabled magisk hide from settings you can go into magisk hide settings and here and enable magisk hide for your google play services google play store and then clear all data for the play store and that should be good for your banking apps to work and once you enable magisk hide you should be able to pass your safety net as well without any issues and of course the build has no issues with downloading apps from the google play store once you enable magisk hide other than that double tap to wake is broken always on display works without any issues and do not enable now playing otherwise you will have audio issues oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah android 12 beta 3 with material u in the building working like a boss on the poco f1 those of you who were saying that that is the noise munchie makes when he has sex or hey munchie which profession have you joined oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah come out of your porn fantasies what's up what's up what's up android 12 beta 3 by the pro shiva in the building and those of you who are still left behind after that intro i do have another pro tip for you if you have slow charging on this specific build go into poco extras and change the thermal profile to no limits and of course you have to read the pinned comment to get more information about all this next up this here is the build and it is running on the poco f1 let us go into settings right away take a screenshot bam here it is tap on capture more and we now have the scrolling screenshot feature of android 12 beta 3 working like a boss have a look at that zoomed lens and those super smooth animations because this build is smooth if and only if you let it settle down once it settles down it is super smooth google feed is enabled out of the box no jitters no lags have a look at that super smooth animation bam recents again smooth everything is great select works screenshot works as well rounded corners share and edit icon as well now why do you have this minor issue of the ui being a bit laggy when the device boots for the first time super important thing you need to remember is that android 12 itself is in beta stage so if you are expecting a perfect build out of a base which is already in beta then you have the wrong expectation my dear friend very simple answer very easy answer once you get that inside your head you will have less expectations from this build and you will complain less as well next up material u is present so if i press and hold on the empty space go into wallpapers and style bam here it is material u again when you open the wallpapers and styles app for the first time you might have the issue wherein these options don't show be patient they will eventually show up I'm going to change wallpaper and let us go into curated culture you will notice that one of the wallpapers is circled that is because that is the current wallpaper another new feature from google let us go ahead and check out this one so you do have two options and it shows you the preview you can move around your wallpaper if you want to and if you want the actual look tap on this bam man those animations like kill me android 12 animations are like eye candy i just want to you know keep playing with my phone forget the features working or not the animations are like awesome anyways 
check mark home and lock screen both and applied without any issues go back into wallpaper and style and you can change the accent color so this here is another small issue you see the accent color right now did not change properly even though this one is checked so let us check on this one and now it changed we can now always go back to the green one there it is working without any issues themed icons have been selected and as you can see they did not change either so again you do have your minor issues let us turn this off and then we can go back into wallpapers and style and enable it back on there it is so now it is working next up let us open our recents here it is chrome in the building with a new option to copy your link right away from your recents text copied super dope super dope then if you go into settings and system go into gestures go into system navigation you do have of course three different options and if you go into gesture navigation here it is you do have the option of swipe to invoke assistant and you can disable this in case you want to and before you ask me why do we have three different options over here that is because this is a port from the google pixel 3 excel next up if you go into one handed mode yes you do have one handed mode and now you have Two options for swipe down either you can pull screen into reach and here it is one handed mode does work without any issues or you can use it to show your notifications because I think in the previous beta this swipe down was interfering with your one handed mode and if you still want one handed mode you can always create a shortcut so you can say hold the volume keys together or tap the accessibility button as well next up if you go into settings and once we are in settings we can go into sound and vibration here and if you go into media player you do have two different options either to pin the media player or to show media recommendations and of course as i mentioned earlier make sure that now playing is disabled otherwise you will have audio issues on the build and no now playing cannot be ported to any other devices other than pixel for now next up press and hold on the empty space on your home screen and then if you go into home settings you will notice that you now have an option called live space and before you ask me what is this at a glance has now been renamed to live space then of course you also have another new option if you tap on internet it will open another small pop-up window and here and you can turn off your wi-fi without going into the other settings next up if you go into settings then into storage you will notice you do have the option of trash over here as well and other than that if you go into battery you do have your battery percentage go into battery saver you do have the extreme battery saver as well if you go into your display options you will notice that you do not have the option of rotating the screen while using your camera or say by using the sensors on your device because that again i think is a pixel 4 and pixel 5 exclusive feature not present on the pixel 3 xl and double tap to wake of course is broken always on display does work without any issues do note you might notice some excessive battery drain if you enable they always on display but the animations with always on display are super dope trust me i just love those animations and before i forget once you set the fingerprint on your device make sure you do reboot your device once and the fingerprint again is not like perfect right so you see how it like went to the lock screen and it scanned again and now it unlocked so the fingerprint is not perfect but you cannot blame the developer for this because as i mentioned earlier in the video this is a build based off android 12 which itself is in beta so expect some issues then you also have your gaming dashboard the pro tip for which was shared in the previous video but let us try to do it one more time so you can go into settings and of course for starters make sure that you are in the right orientation and once you're in settings search settings here and you need to search for game once you search for game you will get different options 
and game settings will be one of them go ahead and enable this once that is done download any game from the play store and you should have an option on the right hand side for a gaming controller and this here is your game dashboard do note game optimization is not enabled right now here are the other options which you get so you do have a floating bar kind of situation over here which can of course be moved around at will but it again attaches to the either side of the device so you cannot have it in the middle of the screen and this here is your option for screenshot this here at the bottom is your FPS and this here is going to open the screen recorder. So the middle option should actually open the screen recorder, but I think we did have another Android 12 UI bug. And as you can see, I am not seeing the option again. So let us do one thing. Let us go to our recents, go back into game settings, and then we can try going back to the game to see if we get the option. So now we are not getting the option again. It is kind of finicky and very difficult to, you know, get it back but it does work then because this is a build from shiva it is using your vendor which is based on caf yep cf cf and if you go into system you do have another option called poco extras here and you can of course change the vibration strength using the slider you also have vibration patterns and you also have kcal yep you can configure your displays so everything looks hunky dory right now let us go ahead and change the red to 69 omg <laughs> do not spam the comments with 69 that was not intentional at all anyways turn the screen off and then turn it back on one more time and kcal effect will kick in Similarly, you can change the contrast, hue and other options as well. And again, if you want to go back to the normal value, press and hold on that icon. It will go back to the default, which is your 255. And then again, toggle the power button off and then on and things will return back to normal. Similarly, you also have your profiles. So this here is your performance profile and those of you who game make sure the performance profile is set as gaming and, and a thermal profile, profile you can use based on the information which is provided in the pinned comment on this video so again a nifty addition by shiva then in terms of your widgets you do have the new conversation widget but other than that the clock widget and the ones which you saw in the wallpapers is not yet enabled you do have your weather on the lock screen working without any issues and on your home screen as well next thing we can do is we can also go to the play store and check if play protect certification is passing or not so here it is device is certified you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works double tap is the new gesture for picture in picture of course for it to work you either need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to be in youtube premium and if the stewards thought that Lewis Hamilton did something wrong, the penalty should have been more than 10 seconds because you just took out your championship contender for Formula One with that dirty move. In terms of the assistant lady, she is present. No assistant 2.0 unfortunately, but the assistant lady works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well with respect to your google photos do note this is a port from the pixel 3 xl so you do get a special feature till 2022 and we can also try to edit this picture of my favorite football star I'm going to adjust portrait light bam here it is portrait light in the building working without any issues of course do note that portrait light will work if and only if you have a human object because google does have pretty great ai app opening animations are on your screen recents super fast with no jitters and no lags wow those animations google feed again super fast as well switch between a few applications there it is no issues in that respect either and that brings us to the million dollar question hey manji is this a daily driver and the answer to that is very simple the answer to that is i provide you all the information which there is for a specific rom and you need to decide for yourself whether it is a daily driver 
or not somebody else telling you it as a daily driver that's not how it works everybody is unique you have your own needs and your own preferences so for me this this is a killer build this is a dope killer build by shiva and it is well worth a daily driver for me for you you need to decide for yourself